look bad, babe. It don't look bad. It not goodly either. It not look goodly either, but it not badly. Hey friends, it's fam. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm DC. And I am Popsan and we're a pastoral family. So this week we're taking you on a journey with us. We're going to Albion, upstate New York. For Albany. The eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Albany, upstate New York for the weekend. So come with us, we're going to have a great time ministering together. I also want to take the opportunity to talk about what? My book! Yes, so Honey's book, Transcendent Wisdom, is coming out very, very shortly. It's almost at the printer, so we are very, very excited. The link is in the description below to pre-order your copy. Go ahead, because we are almost at the point where we're going to be giving the publishers the numbers for the pre-order. So go ahead, all right? And I'll also put the price there as well. Absolutely. Your absolutely. devotional for 2023. I'm excited about this. This is a, uh, my heart poured into a little vessel and I want for you to be blessed by it. Um, the publishers love the book. Mm -hmm. Those who have read it, loved it, love it, and I love it. And I love it too. That's excellent. Yes. All right. All right. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, hit the all post notification bell. Drop a comment. Like the video. And share it everywhere. And thank you for your support. Absolutely. Bye. Bye, -bye. No, not bye. Come. See you later. <laughs> Three hours later. We're here, we're here. Okay, so this is where we've been lodging for the weekend. I'm gonna check in now. Morning guys, morning. So yeah, vlog is happening. Where are we? And he's ministering this weekend. We drove up to Albany, New York. Honey's getting ready and I'm about to do breakfast. So first of all, I remember the first time going to a hotel in North America. I don't remember when that was, but I was surprised because hotels in Jamaica, you're used to all inclusive <laughs> food and all that. That was happening. So I'm like, this time, we're not taking for granted. So I bought some ramen noodles. They're serving breakfast downstairs, but we were up chatting. This morning I got up from kind of like a vision. I'm writing a book right now. And from time to time, God will just deposit what he wants me to put in the book. And I just downloaded everything this morning at about 5 o'clock. And I got up and I just started writing it on my phone, writing it out on my phone, everything that he said. And the more I wrote, was the more that he kept downloading, downloading information for the book. It's a book about healing and recovering from trauma and pain and just growing as a woman but anybody can really read it but it's really geared towards us women who have been through something so long story short we didn't go down for breakfast this morning because we we're there chatting and i was writing and all of that so i'm going to breakfast now ramen <laughs> okay so we have this package here you know ramen door they're going to the ramen Alright, so here's my ramen noodle stand. <laughs> we bought nuts, cayenne pepper, biscuit. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you a tour of the room so you can see what it looks like. It's messy though, because we came up almost late yesterday and nobody was in the mood to do a video. So we're going to show you. Let me show you. This is the entrance. You walk in, 
Then you go to the bathroom. And they have one door. So you slide it for the bathroom. And then you slide it this way to cover the closet. Let me show you the closet. So this is the closet area. And then inside, this is the bathroom. Kind of cute, yeah. Really like this. It's the first time seeing something like this where the bottles are attached to the walls. And they used to just squeeze away. Actually, didn't see that this morning. Yeah, so place is a little messy, right? Beautiful artwork. And we have the towels here, toothbrush, and all of that. That we carry. You know, the little cochimins. And then we have this is actually, don't laugh. This is a bag that she came in. I'm like, oh, this is handy. So our vitamins and stuff are in there. Hair products, all of those little things, supplements, they're here. So yeah. All right, so this is the bathroom. For Canadians, washroom. For Americans, what Americans call it? Bathroom, yeah. Restroom. Restroom. Honey says restroom. And then we'll come in. This is the bedroom. So clothes for church. Really like this lamp, by the way. Really nice. So rest of the supplements that we take there. Little table. Not a table. Of course, you know that the preacher is in the house. <laughs> You're seeing <laughs> bow ties and stuff, right? Scarf and jacket. And then ready for it? Voila! Clothes and all the work. So that's that. How is your homemade breakfast? <laughs> like, um, hotel food. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't feel like homemade at all. It's not homemade. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm getting ready now. Ramen noodle wasn't enough? Mm -mm. Okay, but I fancy it. Ah, because I want eat, I want to eat. Yeah, but you, you need, maybe you should have some nuts for protein. Remember? One handful. No more than that. All right, guys, so we are putting the last bit on our getting ready something, something. I'm struggling with this tie. Brunch, just to top this off. And no time for edges. I'm not a professional at this at all, but I'm doing my best. Just trying to figure out how to tie this tie here. Alright. Mom, look. Let me tie look. Mm -hmm. Look neat. Look neat too. And something I'll cut off that part. Alright. Why you were doing that? Putting the nuts up this little side of my hair, and I don't have a lot of edges. <laughs> Sorry. So, you go and you finish. <laughs> so, I just twine this part. Just a little bit right here, and that's all I do. What type of pin? Any part. I usually attach pins to different pieces of clothes. I don't know if I carried any of those clothes. Yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe I forgot to ask Steve when we head to church. Or come on. Again, this side is the same thing. I had the here there, but it was so heavy. So I just removed it. And I just twist, put behind my ears just to protect my edges, right? Yeah? I'm not doing well at all. Oh man. I can do it. The edges? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Have you ever done edges before, ever? I always do mine. 
Your edges, please. This is about me. Oh, your edges. Look at mine. What? Right. Show them your edges. Let me do your edges. <laughs> this looks good, I think. No. All right. Not the best, but I'm trying. Just paste it down a little bit more. Well, can you tell them my story now? Uh -huh. Come tell. Come tell the Francis for my story, Pastor. The irony of the situation is that we pack everything for me, except shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so now, let me show you what happened. He <laughs> didn't carry his church shoes. Go and wash all this, guys. I'll show him like me over here. Now, I've always seen those fancy pastors on TV wearing these things and I say, oh, the guys wear those things with their dress clothes. Well, I'm going to be fancy today because this is the only shoes I wear yesterday. Yeah, you left so, the shoes. And then when he leaves something, he's like, yeah, they packed the shoes. I'm like, you packed the things. You packed. I was in the kitchen. So, yeah. So <laughs> okay, so we're ready to go. One last bit. You have to present yourself in the presence of the Lord God Almighty. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard what Honey said about mercy. Okay. Yeah. Wait, let me carry the car. Wait, guys, the man I'm on him suit with them shoes. Let's go. Let's go, voila. Toss. Hello. Let me see. Stand up. Go over, go over, because I can't see. Stay there, sir. Stay there, sir. Look it don't look bad, babe. It don't look bad. It not look good either. It not look goodly either, but it not badly. Francis, from what do you think? Tell us what you think, please. The struggles of a man who have left his, who left his shoes. I have something. You want to wear mine? Yeah. Oh, you know that this one is better. <laughs> Mercy divine, Father. Put on your jacket here, baby. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Yeah, You're going to preach in Jesus' name. Yeah, Last, Last night. Time. Yep. Let's go. We're ready. <laughs> Come, Pasta, let's go. Pasta, we're late. Let's go. Let's go. We're late. What's your hand something? Your watch? The watch? Oh, ah, no, baby, I've not seen your watch. This might be me if I've seen everything. Alright, so this is the ramen. And there is no hotel life uh, maybe after 10 mm -mm. no remember the clocks went back one hour so it's not <clears throat> so late I'm struggling with the spoon oh you had it with the spoon babe you didn't like what Chinese is it but Chinese don't eat ramen with spoon. Mm, but they put them in the and dry up. May struggle, yeah, man. Come help me. It's hard to eat it with just a spoon. So Chinese food. I've never seen any Chinese or Japanese or Asian eat ramen like this. Yes. When they put them out on the top of them out food, they can draw up each other. Ready to go? Yes. Let's go, baby. Hey, bang, baby. Your belly's not bang. <laughs> I like just the way you look. But you know your belly is not bang. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the, the story Pastor Dennis hey, and Patrick are shared with us? Yeah. <laughs> next to Dennis, man. That's a bye.
Uh, you look got, nice. Look at me in my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I look. You look good. You don't look bad there. You just look like a North American contemporary pasta. Me not North American. I'm you know, you contemporary. Yeah. You look nice. You don't look See bad. See you tomorrow. All right. Bye. to head to church to praise the Lord. Amen. See you later. Oh, this one. <laughs> right. You're coming? Yeah. You work? Yeah. Good. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in upstate New York. Huh? Oh. Beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in upstate New York. A beautiful day in upstate New York. Away from the hustle and the bustle of the city. Bear, I have a trivia for you. How do you know that a man is married when you enter his car? <laughs> really? Really? Yes. He's right. Shoes, but not just my shoes. You know, finish get ready, brother Francis. Yeah, just put in the final touch on to my forehead. Please put on the glasses to help protect your eyes. Okay, put on my glasses. I'm a husband. Let, let us see you. <laughs> He's just wearing my glasses for now because everything happened so fast to protect his eyes from the sun as much as possible until it completely heals. Ready? Yeah. Father, bless us as we go. Take care of us. Keep us from incident and accident spirits. Guide us. Give us a word to the group in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Any wife that can relate that you're never finished getting dressed. You see my feet? Okay. I think you see my mom. Yeah. If you see my feet, it's a disgrace. Ashy. So, wear lotion. Take off your, your hat, your time. <laughs> We're heading in now. See you later. All right, blessings, everyone. Praise God. He stayed in worship and he had what? What else did he do? He fasted, he prayed, he kept the faith. I drove back. It seems so. <laughs> We're in Sabbath school. <laughs> I call you Brother Francis sometimes. For divine service. Agnes, bless us, consecrate this service to yourself. And at the end, may you be so exalted that every other principality is of you. In Jesus' name. Blessed to be the God 
God's presence, just wave your hands and give God the glory. And if you know that it was God who woke you up this morning, just lift your hands and say thank you, Jesus. If you know that God was the one who walked the accident that shall come your way, just lift your hands and give God the praise. If you know that Satan was the one who wiped you off, but God stepped in close to your hand, just lift your hands and say thank you, Jesus. If you have received the goodness of God, the free salvation of Jesus, I wish you God. running by. I see him through my mind's eye as he put his hands in the water and there is scoop up in his hand some dirt and he begins to mold it and he begins to fashion it. I see him sister as he come out your nose and put it into his face and then he cut a little line and he calls that mouth and when he was done with that he put the shape in my wife. He gave her mm, and that and some more. And when she was lifeless on the ground, he says, I have something else to do. And watch God, watch God. You've got to walk with me. Watch God. The God who was impersonal now becomes personal. Not only is he handling the man that he's falling, but watch God. Now God says, I'm not done yet. I'm going to put something in him. I'm going to give him a part of myself. Yes. Oh, bless the Lord Jesus. And the Bible says he stood down in the dust of the ground and watched God not perform his. What do you call that one? CPR? CPR? I don't oh, know. You know <laughs> CPR. And God puts his mouth on man and he blew into man the breath of life. And it's not just the wind of life, but the breath of life, which is Ruach in the Hebrew, which means it is the Holy Spirit. I'm happy to suggest today that God is not only the God who has power to hold the world in the palms of his hand, who can say to the sea, you can come this far but no further, who could stand in a category 5 hurricane and say, you will shut up and disciples be still. And the winds and the waves obey his voice. But that God is my personal friend who wants to walk with me and talk with me. Pastor, we want to show you how much we appreciate you. And so we have a little something, something for you. Pastor and wife. <laughs> On behalf of the youth department, we want to present you with these small tokens just to thank you for being with us this weekend. Okay guys, we are going to have lunch now. Ready yes, ready to eat. <laughs> to me um, and I prayed again and God showed her and I asked people what they think about it people were trusted people were wise because I wanted to make sure that I didn't read into read my emotions into what I thought God was saying the truth is that he was looking at another girl you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. 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 So 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 I had these two persons and then I realized that I was more naturally myself with um Popsan. You don't was... call me Popsan, only when you're angry with me. Yes. Some honey. I don't even know why I said that just now. I don't know either. All right, <laughs> <laughs> All right honey. Um, 
so I realized that I was more natural with honey. And um, there were other persons who saw that the relationship that we're trying to forge would have been beneficial. And uh, that confirmed what God said. How long have you been married? 13 years. Hey guys, so we are going to go ahead to PGIF Fridays to have something to eat for today. Christmas time. Yay. Christmas died where? Um, Christmas. Because of the snow? Christmas. And I feel it's a wonderful time. Francis fam, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Arriving in Albany and then going to church. Have a good night. His mouth is full with filled with nuts. Just support. Just support. Give the video <laughs> a thumbs up. A thumbs up. A like. Like. I see anything that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe, ensure that you hit the all post notification Drop bell. Drop a comment as well. And share the video. Okay. Alright, until next time. Bye. Bye.